This is Bird Note. In the animal world, large, charismatic species tend to get the most attention. But for the Cory Bustard, the largest flying bird in Africa, that attention hasn't translated to a ton of scientific research. They're still common in parks and reserves, but their populations are dropping outside of protected areas. They're not that well studied. We don't know a whole lot about their habitat preferences. That's Catherine Murtis, a research ecologist at the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute. She tracks animals for a living, and a few years ago, she was focused on Cory Bustards. Uh, it is a tale of mostly unrequited love. We had these solar-powered tracking devices. They're held on to the bird using a harness, like a backpack harness, made of essentially Teflon-coated ribbon. But to put them on the birds, they had to catch them. And for a big bird, you're going to need a bigger net. You string this three meter tall, 30 meter long net on poles or mostly natural vegetation. Trying to gently herd a bustard into the huge nets turned out to be quite a task. In an entire field season, they only caught three birds out of 40 or 50 attempts. We had one that walked basically right up to the net and they just pumped his legs and took off straight up into the air. But they fitted the three birds they did catch with their little tracking backpacks, which provided years of data that can help with future conservation planning. For Bird Note, I'm Kevin McLean.